The leader in air gun innovation, Umarex, is setting the pace once again with an industry-first double-barrel air archery gun. Let's join Aiden as he walks us through the Umarex Air Saber Elite X2. All right, hey, I just wanted to give you guys some just quick rundown on the Umarex Air Saber Elite X2. It is an X2 because that means it's a double barrel. So with the double barrel of this, you get two arrows running there at 460 feet per second. You got 100 grain weight if you're looking for like your broadhead you want to put on the end or you can just shoot field target uh, with field tips on there uh, that works either way uh, on today uh, under here i have a 4x32 scope that runs on top uh, the breakdown is pretty simple and i'm gonna get it's got a couple picatinny rails up here so if you want to put a bipod you can also do that uh, the tank which is also located up here in the front is a 4000 psi tank which gives you about 25 shots uh, overall, which is pretty good. I mean, you fill the tank, you go out hunting. If you're, if you're not knocking it down by 25 shots, um, you're probably in trouble from there. But look, taking a look at the barrel here, we'll bring this right up in front. That's the double barrel side of it. Uh, we slide them all the way down. They will stick out about an inch, inch and a half up top here. Uh, so if you're walking around, I wouldn't advise that you walk around with it loaded, I guess, if you will, if you're going out to your hunting stand. I would wait till you get there, then go ahead and load that up, especially if you got broad heads on there, uh, whether you're running mechanical or fixed, it doesn't really matter. So. How do, we, how do we choose between which side we're shooting here? The old school, it's not a double trigger or whatever it is, but if you look on the side here, we actually have a button that actuates it. So if you see this red O-ring that's right here, that O-ring denotes what side of the barrel is being shot. So for here, it's on the, the right side. If we push this down, it shoots out of the left side from there. It does have a cocking lever on the side, which is really, really nice. Uh, it makes it super fast. You can actually fire this gun two times in about less than two seconds and maybe even closer to one, depending on how fast you get with that, uh, working, working with that. On the trigger down here, the trigger is actually really smooth. The safety is built into the trigger, so to activate it, all you have to do is press down on this, and then boom, you can fire and you're ready to go. Kind of the last thing I'll show you on here is the gauge. So the gauge, when you're filling it up here at the top, it, it does use a probe, and I'll show you right here. It does take a probe that fits in right here on the front. So you can fill it up. Once you fill it up, you'll be able to read what the pressure is down here on the bottom. So as you fill it up, you can check with the gauge just to kind of confirm what you have moving and you should be good to go. On this one here, like one of the recommendations for scopes, everyone says, well, what scope do I put on here? Do I run like the four x 32? Do I put an old school three x nine on there? I would get something that you could have like a ladder inside of there. Um, not really bullet drop compensation, but something that you can gauge and you can get your dope on it. If you sight it in at 25 yards, where's it hitting at 25, 30, 35, 40, you know, out to 50 over there. But this thing is, uh, when I say it's powerful, it packs a punch. So one question I get on here is like, what broadhead do I use on the arrow? Well, it's really up to you. If you want to shoot with field tips here, I'm not going to go out and hunt actually with, uh, with the field tip. Uh, if I'm going out maybe getting rabbits or something like that, you can even put blunts on there if you want to go rabbit hunting or whatever. But uh, on top of that, you get either a fixed blade, you can use mechanical blades or whatever you want to. I would just be careful if you're out walking around with it, you probably don't want anything that's going to be out there in, in, with an opportunity to cut yourself. So if, if you don't load it up till you get to your blind, that might be a good option if you're walking around with the field tips. Uh, again, treat it just like a firearm. Keep the whole thing always pointed downrange, never point at anything you don't intend to shoot. So if you guys want to find out more about the Air Saber Elite, X2, you guys can go to umarexusa.com. Uh, go out there and check it out.